Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here. I'm at the Crow Hassan Park Reserve. Some call it Hassan, some call it Hassan. I probably say it both ways, but it's a park reserve made up of prairie, oak savannas, and then forest areas of oaks and maples, and then the Crow River flows through it, eventually meeting at the Mississippi River. Well, so why am I here today? I'm here because the monarchs are congregating here before their long migration to Mexico. And so this is one of the spots that they meet and there's monarchs everywhere in here. So I'm anxious to let you inside, take you through and give you some visibility into this start of the long migration to Mexico. I'm really excited today to share with you monarchs as they're congregating in this Crow River Hassan Park Reserve and there's tons of monarchs congregating to start their big migration to Mexico so I'm gonna hopefully get some really cool shots this is a great park reserve it's all prairie land there's some oak savannas that I talked about in a video a couple weeks ago but I hope you enjoy it I'm hoping to get some great shots of it but one of the reasons they get here is because they're building up their fat reserves for the migration and they do it with pollinating plants like this liatris and this field has all kinds of liatris and goldenrod that are in bloom right now so this whole area back here has got tons of monarchs being Right, so I'm in the shade in these stand of oak trees here and there's monarchs resting all over the place. Probably not easy to see, but this is the fourth generation of monarchs for this year. And this generation is the generation that migrates to Mexico. So they're the kids and they'll never get back here because they'll migrate to Mexico, they'll hang out there in the winter and then they'll start laying eggs as they migrate back north and then they'll die off and then the first generation of monarchs which will only live for four or five weeks they'll migrate a little further north then the second generation they only live for four or five weeks then the third generation they fly even further north and only live for four or five weeks but this monarch lives for nine months and they're big strong butterflies that can make a big long migration so it's really cool this beautiful prairie of oak savanna is just perfect for a stopping point to get together with their buddies so they can travel off to Mexico so I'm trying to get some video for you of these monarchs in these trees and there's a bunch sitting on these leaves right behind me so I'm gonna kind of work my way back towards them and hopefully we can zoom in close enough where you can see all these monarchs that are resting up before their big journey here, so follow me. Blue, blue, can you get these monarchs up in the tree here? There's a little cluster of three right there. Some of the other ones just flew away. It's so cool to see this many monarchs in one spot. I know you can't probably see them as well as I can, but it's an incredible deal. Blue, 
you keep coming with me, there's tons of them in here. Well, I hope you can get the feel for this, but there's hundreds of monarch butterflies along this tree line. And then across from us is the prairie land that has all this liatris. So they go out and feed for a while, then they work their way back to the shade into these oaks and maples. Very cool. So I came back to Hassan Township, back to the Crow Hassan Park Reserve, early in the morning. So this is my second day out here. Early in the morning, the butterflies are still trying to dry out their wings before they start hitting the blazing star out here. So it's been really cool. We've got some good shots of some butterflies hanging in the trees. So these fourth generation monarchs are really cool. They're bigger than the other three generations of monarch over the course of the year. These are four and a half inch wingspans and bigger, where the other monarchs that are you see over the summer are maybe three and a half to four inches. And they have the big wingspans because these are the monarchs that, they're, I call them mega monarchs. They live for nine months, where the other monarchs don't. They live for four or five weeks. And these mega monarchs, are bigger because they have the long flight, the long migration to central Mexico, right? About a hundred miles west of Mexico City in the Transvolcanic Mountains. And this migration is crazy. They can fly at 15 to 25 miles an hour. And in a given day, depend on the jet stream and the thermals that they fly in, they can travel 80 to 250 miles in a given day. And so here we are in September, they're starting to congregate and they fly in groups down to Mexico. So out on day two, I decided to wear this purple so I look like the Liatris. I think this Liatris is called Rough Blazing Star, a really cool flower that just the butterflies flock to it. But one of the things that's really interesting is the first three generations of monarchs, they're born with reproductive units, they only live for four or five weeks, so their life is about laying eggs and starting the life cycle again. But the fourth generation, they don't have their reproductive units. They're built for migrating, and their reproductive uh, organs won't really develop until the spring, February and March, as they start the life cycle again at the beginning of next year. Man, this has been a fabulous day. I've seen more monarchs today than I've seen all summer. It's been an incredible day out at the Crow River Asan Prairie Restoration Area. Hopefully, if you live in Minnesota, you can try and get here in the next week because this crazy congregation won't last forever. So it's a really cool sight to see all these monarchs in one spot before they head south. So. That's all I got today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this monarch start to the migration here in Minnesota. Have a great day. Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out.